Hi everyone, uh, and thank you for joining me. My name is Omer from Corny Digital, and today we're going to talk about innovations in digital printing. And to be more precise, we're going to talk about the future of printed clothing. The world is screaming for a change. People are changing. We change the way we, we express ourselves, we change the way we behave, and this is why we change our behavior as consumers. Businesses are changing as well. Business models of the past are not business models of the future. Retail meltdown is changing everything we know about the way we consume and every way we know about business of retail. Ecom is booming and retail brick and mortar is actually melting down. And last but not least, let's talk about our planet. Sustainability is not anymore a nice to have feature in, in everything we do. It's a must have in the way we do things, in the way we do business, in the way we conduct our lives, in the way we produce everything that we use. Let's talk a little bit about e-com. Now, if we take a deeper look at e-commerce, we see something clearly amazing. In the last decade or so, e-com was booming. But last year, when COVID struck, in only three months, we saw a growth equal to the 10 years prior. And if right now, a third of every transaction is powered by e-com, by 2025, we expect that to be two thirds. So if e-com was booming before, e-com has become completely unstoppable. Now, let's talk about how all this impacts the apparel and fashion industry. The way we're doing things in the apparel and fashion industry is just not suitable for the new world that we live in. Excess production is one of the biggest pain points of this industry. About 30% of every apparel item that is being produced is never sold. This creates a huge negative impact on the economics of everything that we do, but also, and even more importantly, on the planet. When 30% of everything that is being produced is never sold, it means that we use resources for no reason. We make things that nobody needs and nobody ever wants to buy or use. Let's talk inventory forecasting. Inventory forecasting is a thing of the past. In the days where brands and retailers were able to control the trends, those days you could actually produce into inventory and make sure that you sell it out. This is not the case anymore. Trends are being grown from the street, from the people, from the consumers. You can't forecast your inventory. This is what happens when you're left with unsold inventory and your best sellers are running out. Slow reactivity. Supply chains are long and complex and you cannot react to the market at the speed that is required these days. And labor. Labor intensive processes are always a problem in these industries. Things can be different. Things are already different in some places. When we look at the future of apparel and fashion manufacturing, we look at a future of sustainable on-demand production. Sustainable on-demand production of fashion and apparel is the best solution for all these pain points of the industry, of the consumers, of the brands and retailers, and of the planet. Now, on-demand actually lives by now within the industry. There are verticals and there are applications that live by on-demand. And those applications and those market verticals grew dramatically in the last 10 years. But last year, they actually experienced that inflection point that we just talked about earlier. The inflection point in e-com, the inflection point in consumer habits that happened in 2020 due to COVID actually created the same inflection point in those applications. And some of our best customers are actually running like crazy to meet the demand that is never ending for on-demand decorated apparel. Understanding that our role in making the difference in the way printed apparel is being manufactured, we actually established a completely new ecosystem. An ecosystem for on-demand production. Understanding the change in demand, in demand behaviors and demand expectations, and the need for new and flexible business models, we created a full ecosystem that is built on three different layers. A physical layer on the production floor, a virtual workflow to digitize and automate everything, and a real-time data management system that allows everything to streamline from A to Z. Now, 
Let's take a closer look at some of the groundbreaking technology building blocks in service of fashion. The XDI technology is one of the main pillars of the MAX technology that we launched a few weeks ago. The XDI capabilities allow us to break the boundaries of 2D printing on textile into 3D structural and form decoration on textile. This opens up a new world of applications and verticals that were never possible before. The applications of our new XDI technology are endless, from emulating analog processes to creating new applications that never existed before. We can emulate embroidery, we can create high density embellishments on any type of fabric out there, and we can completely simulate heat transfer both for screen and vinyl applications. This is a completely new frontier for digital decoration of textile, creating new business and creative opportunities. Stepping away from decoration per se, we came to solve one of the industry's biggest challenges needed to overcome in order to create an A to Z seamless automated production floor, and that is automation. One of the cross-industry challenges is labor-intensive media handling. What you see on screen in front of you right now is the new automated robotic media handling system that is going to be introduced on our MAX platforms. This new system is going to become the new standard for on-demand apparel decoration. Maximizing productivity and optimizing operations without the need to rely on operator skill or training levels. This is going to be the new standards of automation for every on-demand decorated apparel fulfiller out there. Now, let's take a look on a few use cases of how this technology came to life at Cornet Fashion Week only a few weeks ago. On screen right now, we see a beautiful collage of some of these applications as they came to be at the Cornet Fashion Week a couple of months ago. You see here a collage of different applications, print and decoration, 2D and 3D, to create a full color spectrum and a full texture collection on the catwalk. We talked about the technology under the hood and we saw some of the applications it can actually produce. Now let's talk about the ecosystem where all this lives. Recently we established Cornet X. Cornet X is the ecosystem where all this can actually live and create the change that we need. Cornet X is going to become the new standard of fashion production. Let's review our vision of the way to produce fashion. The concept behind Cornet X is to create the infrastructure to enable this workflow. On the front end, we enable new business models and new commerce capabilities for the new e-com consumer. On the back end of it, we created a smart network for on-demand production, where routing takes place based on the location of the consumer rather than the location of the production facility. And as the backbone of this entire process, we're talking about a fully digitized and automated production fulfiller floor from A to Z from an order entry through manufacturing and all the way to shipment. This is the new standard of on-demand sustainable fashion manufacturing. Our mission is to become the operating system for on-demand sustainable fashion. This is not just a dream. This is taking place right here, right now. I invite you to join us in revolutionizing the way we make fashion. Make fashion sustainable and on-demand. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for your time and for attention. If you still have a few questions left, uh, we'll be happy to answer them in a short Q&A session. Thanks, Omar, for that presentation. I'm delighted to, to welcome to the stage Amit Rabin from Corneet. What a Hi, year, nice Cornet, Amit. Absolutely. It's been an amazing journey this past year. Um, I don't think anybody could have expected that. And what, what's interesting for me is that, like FESPA, we've been following the trends many, many years. And it's, it's those trends that we were predicting, especially for the, the Sportswear Pro event that we were organizing and that research. Uh, we were talking about nearshoring. We were talking about on-demand production. And... 
now we're all here. We're all living that life. So uh, what's been the feedback from the launch of the Max? So, uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's almost like we woke up to a new world where um, the industry is catching up to the vision. And uh, one of the visions that uh, Cornet is uh, leading of that uh, uh, onshoring on-demand production and making fashion sustainable again. Uh, and once we've introduced the Atlas Max and the Cornet X together to, to create that, the eco, that ecosystem, uh, we've had amazing feedback from the market, from brands. Um, having that communication, those conversations, starting to, to see how we can bring this to the market and to the fashion industry. Fantastic. And, and thank you to the demo team in Dusseldorf because um, I've already got my samples and those samples look incredible. Um, especially the the embroidery effects, and I know that uh, we've just seen a comment from from Ola who's talking about the those simulating embroidery. So, um, yeah. what's been the feedback from the brands, especially when you're talking about those specific special applications? Uh, I think the feedbacks were were amazing. Of course, we've introduced that technology to to a lot of brands out there, and. Um, the the feedback was absolutely uh, incredible. Everybody is very, very intrigued to see what they can do. And I think the most important thing and the most uh, exciting thing will be to actually get that technology out there and see what actual designers, actual fashion uh, creators uh, make with it. Uh, and we saw that in the fashion week, like uh, you saw in, uh, in Omer's presentation, that when we introduced and you gave those tools to creators, to designers, they did things that we've we couldn't have imagined uh, them doing with our technology. So it's very exciting times. Fantastic. And um, just just talking about those, um, you've got those automatic, um, uh, the automatic systems onto the onto the Max. Are those additional? Right. So, for example, when customers are looking for a for a customized machine from so, you, the automatic um, rollers, so, etc., on and off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the um, semi-automatic loading system and the automatic pallet uh, that we're introducing to the Atlas Max uh, later this year or the early uh, 2022 is, can be uh, as add-on to an existing Atlas Max customers or can be ordered directly uh, with, uh, with the Atlas Max. And really this will enable customers to utilize the full capacity of those systems as we create our systems to, uh, to accommodate for more uh, production capacity for faster uh, production, we understand that actually the operator becomes the bottleneck. And this is uh, something we wanted to, to solve and allow our, our customers to use to the best of their uh, uh, the machine's capability. Fantastic. And of course, um, for Corneet, um, you're well known, of course, in the DTG, DTG world, um, but you've also got your portfolio of, of direct-to-fabric machines. Um, what's been the uh, the take up of those machines over the last year? Um, I see you've just introduced one into the UK market um, at the mm -hmm. Fashion Enter, I think, is in in London. Of course, that is um, a huge response to the nearshoring uh, which we're seeing right now throughout throughout the world. Yeah, so um, I think this uh, is the beginning of a, of a trend. This is uh, the first implementation of, again, the vision of, uh, of Cornet of sustainable uh, production of not only uh, on-demand embellishment, but also on-demand production of garments close to the customer. Uh, on-demand, only produce what, uh, what is already sold, zero waste, uh, minimal water usage. Um, so I think this is a very, very positive step into, in towards uh, making fashion a sustainable industry. And we're proud to be uh, spearheading that effort. Excellent. And of course, last year um, you had the, uh, the, the, the purchase of the custom gateway portfolio as well. How has that been received from your customers as well for that sort of uh, commercialization from, a, from an e-commerce perspective? So uh, again, this all plays part as a part of a, a big ecosystem of all those trends to coming, coming together. Um, on the one hand, the technology to do the on-demand production. On the other hand, our ability now to facilitate that and help uh, customers and brands to, uh, to gain access to those technologies, even if they don't do the investment themselves, but actually connecting them with different uh, uh, fulfillers close to the customer's uh, uh, 
you know, point of uh, point of use. So uh, a lot of interest, a lot of uh, very good conversations and projects that are uh, moving forward with that uh, as well. Fantastic. Um, Amit, thank you very much for, for your time and the presentation, of course. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Cornet have got a live session uh, later on today. Um, if you'll see that on the program, on the schedule, where they'll be showing you the, the Max technology so you can learn a lot more about that, that new technology. So, Amit, we will see you later on for a, for a live yeah. demonstration of the Max technology. Thank you very much see you for later. your time.